This is about an error in Dragon Naturally Speaking relating to hotkey conflicts, and a solution. Recently I booted up Dragon and it said that the microphone hotkey, the one that can turn the microphone on and off, could not be registered because another application had registered it. I couldn't find a way around the problem, and online advice about changing a particular value in a .ini file also didn't help. This is a big problem, because I have multiple VoicePot and VoiceAttack profiles which use the old hotkey, control and backslash, for toggling Dragon's state, and I sometimes say press control backslash to turn off the microphone without affecting those profiles. Changing all those and my own habit would be difficult. But I found a good workaround. Firstly, I changed the relevant hotkey to control K, which nothing else seems to be using. Secondly, I keep this single line of auto hotkey code active at all times. Then, whenever the old hotkey is sent to the computer, auto hotkey intercepts it and sends the new hotkey instead. I can activate it by saying press control backslash in Dragon or Windows speech recognition, pressing on the keyboard, or using a macro in VoiceBot or VoiceAttack. However, auto hotkey can sometimes trigger its own hotkeys with the things it has sent. It has two ways of sending hotkeys, the standard colon colon method, and colon colon followed by send. In general, if the output hotkey came from the standard method, it will be sent to Dragon if Dragon can receive that hotkey, otherwise it is sent to the rest of Windows. However, the send function will generally be offered to Dragon, then to auto hotkey, then to the rest of Windows. This means it's possible to create infinite loops. Looking at this set of hotkeys, 4, 5, and 6 each use the regular method. This means auto hotkey does not reabsorb their outputs, and as a result, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 6, and 6 goes to 4, each one stopping. Press 4. Press 5. Press 6. Now look at the hotkeys 1, 2, and 3, which each use the send method. This means that auto hotkey will reabsorb their outputs, then activate the next hotkey, and the next, and so on. This has created an infinite loop, although fortunately there is an exception in auto hotkey for this, and you can choose to end the script if you don't want it to continue. Press 1. Note that if Dragon and Auto Hotkey had a hotkey in common, Auto Hotkey occasionally accepts it first. But if you had an infinite loop going, press 2, then every second there would be opportunities for Dragon to accept it and terminate the loop, so it's okay to assume Dragon will take hotkeys first. Press 3, though in general you should be avoiding infinite loops and simultaneous hotkeys whenever you write your code. Now look at the top set of hotkeys. Control backslash activates Control K. Control J sends control backslash, control K activates 7, and control M activates control backslash. However, only control J uses the send function, meaning it will activate whatever control backslash activates. Meanwhile, control M will activate control backslash without any follow on. This difference means that when you have a hotkey conflict like this, you can redirect the old hotkey and have things redirected through it, and send the old hotkey to the computer without redirection. For finding suitable hotkeys, a good starting point is checking the list of Windows hotkeys, which I've linked to in the description. The ultimate benefit of going through all this is that your VoiceBot and VoiceAttack profiles are still exportable to computers that aren't having this issue. Note that with Dragon, in theory it shouldn't matter whether the new hotkey is sent to the computer using the regular or send method. However, when I switched to the regular method, sometimes it seemed to not let go of the control key, which caused a few problems, so the send method is the best choice. And when the VoiceBot window is highlighted, it doesn't seem to send the hotkey properly, but that's the only time this hasn't worked.